All right, so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to set up permissions for your vMenu. In the last video, I showed you guys how to install vMenu. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up permissions via Discord to your vMenu. So before we start, what you guys are gonna to wanna to do is make a Discord bot. And to do that, you're gonna to wanna to go to this link here, which is gonna be in the description down below. You're gonna to wanna to click on new application, name your bot, whatever you wanna name it. For me, I'm gonna do tutorial. Make sure you agree to the terms and then click create. All right, so here's your Discord bot. Now there's a few things you're gonna wanna do here. You wanna click on bot on the left here. Click on reset token. And once you have your token, you're gonna wanna click on copy and just save that somewhere for now. For me, I'm gonna put it in notes and just leave that up. And also while you're on this bot page, what I would recommend doing is scrolling down a little bit, go to privilege gateways intent, and then turn these three on and then save changes. Once you have it saved, go ahead and go over to OAuth2. Scroll down until you find this here, this bot. Click on it, click on Administrator, and then you click Copy this link here. Now go to a new tab, paste that link in. Continue to Discord. And then now what you're gonna do is select the server you want your bot to be in. So I'm gonna do Tutorial, Continue, and Authorize. Now, once you go to your server, you can see your bot is now in your server. The next, what you're gonna wanna do is click the second link in the description and then go to Badger Discord API here. It's a GitHub link. You're gonna wanna go ahead and click on the code button and download zip. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and open it up. You're gonna wanna take this here and drag it into your five from server files and drag it into your resources file, wherever you want it to be. For me, I'm gonna put mine in the scripts with my view menu. There it is. And then you're also gonna to wanna to click on the third link in the description to go to Discord Ace Perms. Same thing, click on the code and then download zip. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and open up the file and then rinse and repeat. Just take this file here and drag it into your server scripts folder or wherever you want it to be. Once you have those two installed, you can go ahead and close out everything else. And you're gonna to wanna to rename both the files. So for Discord API, just remove the main with the dash. And then for the Discord Ace Perms, same thing, just remove the master with the dash. So it should look something like this. Then you're gonna wanna go ahead and open up Badger Discord API. Then you're gonna go ahead and wanna go to the config.lua file. You can open it with Notepad++. You can open it with Notepad. For me, I'm gonna be using Visual Studio Code. If you don't already have Discord Developer Mode enabled, which is what you're gonna need for setting up permissions, you're gonna wanna Go to your Discord, go to your user settings, scroll all the way down until you see advanced here, and then enable developer mode. All that does is it lets you copy the ID of users and roles and guilds. A guild is a server. To do that, you're gonna wanna right click, go down to copy server ID, and that's gonna be the first thing to go in and guild ID. The next thing here, same thing, just replace guild ID with the ID you copied from your server, and then name it whatever you want it to be. Um, for me, I'm the tutorial. And then going down, as you can see here, bot token, this is what you copied earlier. Go ahead and open up that notepad file, copy your bot token, and then paste it into bot token. And next is gonna be the role list. The role list is gonna make it to where certain roles you have in your Discord have access to certain permissions within the vMenu. For example, if you don't want everybody being able to use God mode into no clip, you can set that to like an admin role or to a staff role. So what you wanna do is go to your server, go ahead and make your roles you would want. For me, I'm gonna make three roles. It's gonna be owner, admin, and member. Go ahead and save it and right click on your owner and copy ID. Once you're back here, what you're gonna wanna do is press enter to bring it down a line and then press enter again and then go up to that empty space and then press on tab, it gives you a space and do, do brackets, brackets and colons, type in the name of the role. So for me, it's gonna be owner and then you're gonna press space equals the role ID you had just copied, and then comma. 
And then if you want to add more rows, go ahead and just copy this line here. Press enter, you paste it in, press enter, you paste it in. You just rename it to what you want it to be for me. I'm going to do admin. And then here it's going to be member. And then same thing here, go into your discord and then copy the role IDs and replace them. And there you go. Um, and with the owner, admin, and member, the name of your roles, um, I would recommend not capitalizing them just to prevent any future issues. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Once you have all your roles you want in here, go ahead and control S to save it or just click file up here and save. Now going down to the config splash, what this is going to do is when you load into your server, it's going to have a big prompt saying your server name. It's also going to be showing this image here whatever you want it to be, along with your Discord link and your website link. You can either enable this or disable it. For me, I'm going to disable it by just making this here to false instead of true. Then you can go ahead and save it again and close that out. Now moving on to your Discord ace perms, open that up and then go to the same thing, click on the config. And now here you can see there's already a template for you. What you're gonna wanna do is same thing, just repeat, this is gonna be your role name. Make sure that these match up perfectly with what you had put into the Discord API config. So for me, I only need three, so I'm gonna delete the rest and keep three. And make sure when you're naming it, you have group dot the name. This is very important. This is how the game registers what group and what Discord permission you have. So go ahead and just replace these with the same things that you had put in the Discord API. Once you have all the roles you want here listed, it's going to be the same thing for configuration. Go here, your server name. So Discord link, you can make this your Discord link. And your website, if you have a website, for me, I'm going to just do Discord link once again. And other than that, that's pretty much it. And you're done with this now too. Go ahead and save it and then close it. And once you have that done, you have your Badger API and your Discord Aceperm set up now. Now what you want to do is go into your V menu, go to your config, and then go into your permissions.config folder. Once you're in your V menu permissions, you're going to scroll down until you find player slash group setup. And once you're here, you're going to want to come here and then type add underscore ace space group dot and then your role name that you set. So I'm going to do owner. I'm going to copy this. Make a new line, admin, and member. Once you have that here, however many roles you want, you can have however many permissions and groups that you want. Any high, any low, you're not restricted. It's just however many Discord roles and however many permissions you want to set up. Once you have that done, you have owner. Remember these names, so owner, admin, and member. Scroll down. In that last video, I had it to where everyone could do everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make that false. And then now you set up permissions manually. So also remember what I said, like here, if there's a hashtag before the add ace, then what that's going to mean is that this is disabled for the server. So if you want to set a permission for, for example, God mode here, remove the hashtag. And you're going to want to replace bulletin everyone with group dot and then whatever permission you want it to have access to so i'm going to do admin and then i'm going to copy this here i want admins to be able to go invisible admins to be able to have unlimited stamina for fast run and for fast swim speed jump speed jump super jump and etc now what you want to do is just go through every permission, set up the permissions you want. And if you want to disable something, change it from allow to false. And if you guys want multiple groups to be able to do the same thing, all you're going to want to do is just copy everything you want the other group to be able to do. Make a new line, paste it, and change the group to whatever group you want it to be. So now my admins and my owners will be able to go invisible god mode etc one thing i did forget to mention make sure that when you're setting up permissions for a category you find this here bulletin everyone 
options all, make sure you set that to false. Then once you have everything configured in this menu, you're going to want to go ahead and save it and then close out. And now from here, go ahead and start your server. Now, before you load into the server, make sure that you give yourself the roles. So I'm going to give myself owner and admin. Now, before you load into your server, what you're going to want to do is go to your server config. Scroll down to the vmini permissions that we made in the last video. Make a new line and you're going to want to paste in this. This will also be in the description below if you want to copy it and paste it. And then you want to make another line and paste in this. Once you have these two here, go ahead and save file. And then you're going to want to restart your server. And now to see if everything worked, go ahead and load into your server. Now while you're loading into your server, check your console. And as you can see, it says here, Discord Ace Perms added my name to role group admin and to role group owner. That's how you know it worked. If it didn't work, then it would say underneath each one of these lines that there was an error. And if there was an error, you can go ahead and join my Discord below and ask me how to fix it. Now, once you're in the server, go ahead and open up your vMenu. Now, to test it out, I'm going to go to my player options. And as you can see, I only have God Mode, Invisibility, Fast Run, and Super Jump. Now I don't have every permission here that would usually be here because I had set that bulletin everyone to false and I didn't go through every permission to remove the hashtags but that's just because I'm doing a tutorial here. For you what you're going to want to do is remove all the hashtags to allow the permissions and then set up the groups you want to have access to certain permissions. Other than that if you have any questions remember you can join my discord below and have fun.